Once your dipole antenna array has finished simulating, you are ready to view the results of your simulation. There are many different ways of viewing various aspects of this simulation, but we'll just look at a few of the most important plots. To begin, go to the Project Manager window on the left and right-click on Results. Select Create 3D Polar Plot. In the pop-up dialog box that appears, you can choose which far field parameter you want to plot, and also how it will be plotted, for instance, in linear magnitude or in dB. Let's choose to plot directivity, and we'll plot the total directivity in dB. Click New Report. This will result in a 3D plot of the directivity. Notice that you can change the plot limits of any plot by double-clicking on the scale. Now, if you recall, in the previous module, we were looking at normalized directivity. If we want to view that result here, we can again right-click on Results, select 3D Polar Plot, and this time, instead of taking the simple directivity value that is given, we can type in an equation in the mag field, like this. So this equation will give us the normalized directivity plotted in dB. Again, click New Report to populate the visualization. It can often be helpful in terms of understanding the orientation of a radiation plot to visually overlay it on the original model. If you want to do this, go back to the model, right-click, and choose Plot Fields, Radiation Field. In the pop-up window that results, check the visible box next to the plot you'd like to overlay. You may also adjust its scale and transparency if you like. Click Apply, and then Close. Now, 3D radiation plots are great for viewing in the GUI, but 2D plots are much easier to read on paper, and are also much more informative, quantitatively speaking, than the 3D version. So to create a 2D radiation plot, right-click on Results and choose Create Far Fields Report Radiation Pattern. In the pop-up window that results, in the Trace tab, choose Primary Sweep of Phi and type in dB directivity total over max directivity total in the mag field. Under the Families tab, set the theta value to 90 degrees. So note here, we're plotting a sweep of the phi variable with a set theta value of 90 degrees, which means we're looking at a 2D slice of the radiation plot in the XY plane. Now click New Report and then Close. Notice that for 2D plots, you can change the axis limits and the font sizes by double-clicking on the axes of the plot. As an aside here, this is the plot of the directivity of this array as calculated from the theoretical equations presented in the Basics of Antenna Arrays module. So you can see that we have a very high level of correlation between the simulated and the theoretical results. The final thing I want to point out as far as viewing the results from an array simulation is that if your array is defined as we've done here, using a single element repeated over some period using the master-slave boundaries, it is possible to adjust the feed signals of the various elements in post-processing without having to re-simulate the array. To do that, you can either go through the Edit Sources menu under Excitations, as we did before, or if you've defined your sources in terms of variables, you can simply change those variable values and the result plots will update to match. So in this case, we defined the linearly varying feed angle as psi. So if we change the value of psi in the variables list, our directivity plot will vary in response. So here is the variation in the directivity plot in the xy plane resulting from increasing values of psi.